Impact Wrestling presents Under Siege, live May 26th on Impact Plus and Fight. We are back here in Chicago, and we are bracing for the arrival of the Impact World Champion. Macklin, who is out here intent to name a new opponent for himself for tomorrow night at Under Siege, having taken out PCO with the help of Champagne Singh and Shira. That went down last week, but remember, still scheduled for tomorrow night at Under Siege. Macklin versus PCO for the Impact World Championship in a no disqualifications match. But the status of PCO is in question. I mean, Macklin seems very confident that he has put PCO down for good, but many before have thought the same thing. But has the world champion done what has never been done before? I find it ironic that Macklin's video board says front toward enemy. This guy has done everything possible to put obstacles between himself and PCO. Avoiding the perfect creation one. At Under Siege, I am supposed to defend my Impact World Championship against PCO. But I'm here to declare that that match is not happening. Listen, I understand that PCO is not human, but what he is is he's dead. That's right, he's dead because I killed PCO. However, however, the fighting champion that I am, I will be defending my title at Under Siege, but I'm against an opponent of my choosing. So allow me to introduce my opponent at Under Siege for the Impact World title. The most deserving, the most promising up and coming talent in Impact, Champagne Sing. Oh, get the hell out of here. I mean, you put your time in, you work hard, you pay your dues, and you pay a lot of people to clean your shoes. And that's how you get ahead. Champagne Sing is proof of that. Oh, um, give me a break. The most deserving? Champagne Sing and Shira have done Macklin's dirty work, helping him take out Heath a few weeks ago, helping him take out PCO last week. But hey, that's what's paid off here, potentially. If this goes through, if this gets made official, then Champagne Singh has done exactly what he needed to do. And this relationship with the Impact World Champion has paid off. Some things money can't buy, in the words of Champagne Singh. Champagne, allow me to congratulate you. You deserve this. Steve, thank you so much. Shukriya, brother. Thank you. Now, Steve, with all due respect, you have been a great champion. Thank you so much for this moment. But I think it's time I finish my story. I will finish my story as a long... Will you people shut up? I'm trying to talk here. That's not how you treat a number one contender. As I was saying, the long and winding road to the Impact World Championship will culminate at under siege. by now I am cool as a fan under pressure and as the number one contender you all need to shut your mouth
champ. Now, if you will allow me, I have a short list of people that I would love to thank that got me to this opportunity. Shara? I'm gonna start off with my father, the great Gama Singh. Thank you. Oh God, he just Thank started. You. Thank you. So many more people to thank. Here comes the president of Impact Wrestling, Scott Tabor. I'm glad he's out here because this is a shame. This is ridiculous what Macklin, well, Sherry and Singh are doing. We need someone to sign off on the new number one contender. Oh, well, you're let's, stopping. let's make this official. Let's make this official. Scott, Scott, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I think you jumped the gun a little bit. Had you had waited just a short second, I, I swear I have you on here somewhere. I do, hold this. I, I do need to thank you. And as, as a great president, I know you're a man that loves contracts. You can put pen to paper. We can make this match official right here, right now. No, no, Dime Store Champagne Sing here. I didn't come out to put pen to paper. I came out to tell you and him that this match between you two at Under Siege isn't happening. I got this, I got it. Hey, hey. Let me guess, Scott. Let me guess, you picked my next challenger, huh? A little bit more nepotism, huh? You're gonna pick one of your favorites? You're gonna stack the deck against me again? Maybe a five-on-one match with me, huh, Scott? Scott, all you wanna do is see me without this Impact World title at any cost. Am I right? <laughs> Listen, I think you're letting your paranoia get the better of you. And there, I have no interest in stacking the deck against you, Steve. But you've got it in your head that I don't want you as the Impact World Champion, okay? You want to know who I want as World Champion? You want to know who I really want as champion? I want the best damn wrestler in the world! Well, you're looking at him, Scott. Steve? That may well be you, but you know how you find out who the best is? You step in this damn ring and you compete with the very best. And come on, Steve, iron sharpens iron. And this here, no offense, is the farthest thing from iron I've ever seen. And Steve, you're out here, you're whining, you're crying, you're bitching that this isn't fair. But when you come out and you try to pull a stunt like this, what you're really doing is making a mockery out of that championship. So look at me, Steve, and for once in your life, listen, pretend I'm like the drill sergeant who used to try to slap some sense into you. I am totally fine with you as the Impact World Champion, provided you step out you get in this ring, you compete, and you prove that you deserve it night in and night out. Prove myself. Prove myself, huh, Scott? Scott, I think I proved myself by becoming the Impact World Champion at Rebellion. And what did you do? You were supposed to come down and hand me this title like a man of your word. A man of your word, Scott, but what did you do? You threw this title at me. Okay, you know what, Steve? Tonight you're, you're seldom wrong and you're right again. Eh, I did come out, you're right. You're leaving out a lot of context for how we got there, but I did throw that championship belt in your face. But then I apologized. But I guess that's not good enough for you, Steve. So I'll tell you what, let's bury this right now. You walk out of the match at Under Siege, still the Impact World Champion. I'll come out here, I'll get in this ring, I will shake your hand, and I will very respectfully hand you the championship belt. No. No, 
Scott, that time is long and gone, and it should have been done at Rebellion. But when I do successfully defend this Impact World title at Under Siege, what you're going to do is you're going to walk your ass down that aisle. You're going to take that stupid Canadian grin off of your face. And you are going to show me the respect that I deserve. Because as long as I am champion, as long as I am the Impact World Champion, whatever job title you have means nothing. This, this means I'm your boss, Scott. So okay. what you're going to do is you're going to prove to everyone that you understand your place. And after I win at Under Siege, you are going to strap this title around my waist. Okay. Okay. This is how you want to play this? This is how you want to play this? Fine. You win. I'll come out and I'll strap the title belt around your waist. Kind of, kind of glad you're coming to your senses, Scott. I really am. It's about time. It's about time. But what you're leaving out is you haven't named who PCO's replacement is at Under Siege. Man, you're on top of your game tonight, Steve. Cause you're again, you're right. I haven't named PCO's replacement because there is no replacement. And under siege, you're gonna defend that championship against PCO. Scott, you are so sure of yourself. How are you sure he's gonna make it? Boy, that's a, that's, a, that's a good question again. And I, I guess I'm so sure because, I mean, after all, he made it here tonight. Possibly be. And now Macklin bashing the title belt into the skull of PCO. PCO ripping the oh. championship away from Macklin. Oh, now Shira goes after PCO. Oh. Oh. Nearly taking the head off of Shira. A message to Steve Macklin. Sending champagne sings straight to hell. Macklin dies after his title, but there's PCO. Macklin retreating I again. You. I killed you. I killed you, PCO. I killed you, PCO. The French Canadian Frankenstein with his undead hands wrapped around the Impact World title. Is this the sight that we can see tomorrow night at Under Siege?